This is a CRM Nexus 245ES portion cutter. We'll go ahead and uh, turn the unit on. And once the unit turns on, you'll see that there is an alarm light lit. So to clear that alarm light, you go ahead and press this power on button for a moment and release, and you'll see the alarm light has turned off. Uh, there's a couple different controls on here. Emergency stop. These two buttons to move the gripper uh, both forward and backwards. You've got your thickness here, which we'll go ahead and turn down so we could get plenty of slices for this video. Uh, this is um, to uh, actuate the cycle uh, repeatedly by just opening and closing the lid when you add in more product. Uh, stop button, of course, and then this uh, denotes where the gripper goes back to. So if you're putting in a shorter piece of product, you can turn this knob here to the left and have your gripper end here. Or if you're doing a longer product, you can get your gripper to come back further. Um, so right now we've got it set to about what I'll refer to as three o'clock. Two buttons here, forward and backward for the blade. Backward, I can only surmise you use it if uh, the blade's stuck on something. Um, but otherwise, um, just this button on the left-hand side. So we'll go ahead and uh, press that button here. And you'll see that the grippers move and make a nice small slices here. Nice shot from the end. And we can also turn up that amount, and you'll see it making much larger slices here. And then it gets to the end, and we'll return back to its original starting point uh, to go ahead and start the machine again. Just go ahead, and we'll make some bigger slices here, and we'll go ahead and price that. And from the end here, we'll show that gripper moving forward faster here than it was before, and making that green. CRM Slicer from M&M Equipment. This is a model 245ES.